Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to uh, Making a Break In. Today's gonna be part four of making Ray's blaster. Today we're gonna be uh, doing a little bit of a CNC lathe work, uh, making some of the round parts for uh, Ray's blaster, as well as starting the inner frame. So enjoy. So as I mentioned in the video, I got the Tormach CNC lathe. It's all set up. I recorded a whole video of the whole process of taking delivery and setting it all up. You can find the link up there somewhere. So we're going to use Fusion 360 um, to lay out the cam for this part. It's about five minutes long. Some people want to see it. If it's uh, not something that interests you, go ahead and skip ahead, but uh, let's get going. All right, let's use Fusion to um, set up this cam here for this uh, barrel tip. So a new setup. Um, we're going to switch it from milling to turning or mill, uh, turning or mill turn. Stock, we're going to um, offset from the front and I'm not going to round up. 0.01 for the offset and let's make it 1.26, uh, say an inch long. Uh, looks pretty good. Cool. So now, the first operation, just do a quick facing. So you, up here, turning, you choose face. Just like my tool, it's just going to be this uh, tool from Tormach I got. Max 2000 RPM. I'm not really sure about feed speed, so I'm just kind of kind of guessing at this point. Um, next, I'm going to drill. Choose the face you want to drill. Um, and then we're going to grab a half inch drill. I'm going to slow this down a little bit because I'm not holding the tool very good at all. Um, cool. Uh, let me go back and edit. Wanna, we want to make sure the drill is going to poke through all the way. So let's go to our settings. You can see it stops right there. So we want to turn on drill, drill tip through bottom and then maybe add a little extra. Um, so I'm going to cut a few of these, it's okay if it goes deeper, so as you can see it's going to go through now. Alright, next let's add turning profile, and I'm going to switch to this, this tool. Um, RPM, slow down a little, and this time I'm going to switch it from, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose um, face profiling. Outside to inside, that's okay. Um, one thing I need to do is turn on rest machining so it doesn't try to cut into the hole there that's already cut. Um, cool. Okay, so now next let's add another profile. Um, using the same tool, so we have to switch. Um, I just gotta figure this out how to keep this as a default so I have to keep typing this in, but anyways. Uh, we don't want to allow grooving, and I'll show you what that means. We want the tool to basically come and cut this and not drop down here because we're gonna cut that out with a different operation. Um, okay. Um, Next, let's go back in there and same thing as before. Let's uh, rest machining. So we don't want it to cut parts that have already been cut. So that looks pretty good. Um, go back in again. Looks like, um, yeah, I don't want a lot of grooving. So, okay, there we go. Okay, now we gotta create this groove here. So you do that with, you guessed it, grooving. So turning groove. Uh, this time we're gonna use, uh, well, first let's pick the tool and set our speeds good enough um, this time we're going to pick a confinement and so what, what that allows you to do is you choose two features and then turn that on and it's only going to basically mill between those features so so it's only going to mill right there uh, and then lastly let's um part this off so turning turning part and basically that's it uh, that's all you need to do let's make sure we got the right tool selected there though Okay, so that's it. So I just want to go back in and add a little detail. I want to add a chamfer. So I haven't used one of these yet, so we'll see how this goes. So you select the edge. Okay, select our tool. We want a groove tool again. Let's try a three, two, three, two. All right. All right I got to move that above the part. Um, do our speeds of speeds again. Uh, let's run this whole thing and see how, how it looks. All right, I'm actually going to turn off that. Okay, so let's hit this and see here. So first we got our face. Cool. And we got a drill. And our face profile. Speed that up a little. And our side profile. Grooving. And this chamfer. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Let's see. I guess that works. So you're taking off a lot of material. And the part. So 
I'll just check, I'll double check my feeds and speeds and maybe the uh, check the finishing passes and then I'll, we'll go cut it. Let's do this, uh, this face off the front first. Next I'm going to use this half inch drill, uh, bore a little hole. I got it, I'm holding the set screws on one of the flutes so I don't want to go too fast in the feeds and speeds but um, it seems to work fine. Speed and feeds and speeds, um, as I do the space profile, I have no clue what are good feeds and speeds, so if you have any tips on that, um, I'd love to hear from you. Um, definitely interested in that. As you can see, it's kind of pushing some of the material here. Maybe I want a little too deep. Uh, but nonetheless, it's kind of working right now, so hopefully I'll get that all fine-tuned. So here we're going to probably do the uh, finishing pass here in a second and get a nice uh, clean up. Um, I think it's right here. It leaves a real nice surface finish. And then next, uh, we're going to be doing the uh, side profile. Again, it leaves a really, really nice surface finish. Uh, I'm not using coolant, and this uh, these inserts aren't even really made for aluminum. So here's that cutoff uh, tool doing the chamfer. It just leaves a little ring there, and then I'm using the same cutoff tool just actually to part it. All right, guys, cool. So here's the first part. Fits on there, perfect. Next, to use the same process to create the little knob here in the front. Kind of hacked in one of my little uh, mini lathe tools here just to cut some of this uh, face. And did the same side profiles here for the knob. Pretty much exactly the same process uh, used for the barrel tip. And just part it right off. Uh, go a hole and thread that on the small lathe. So, in addition to the tips, I also machined um, this back part here. The grouping tool on my CNC lathes is a little bit too wide, so I just did it here on a manual. And I have a groove cut here. So that when it's inserted, just like the pictures, you can see through the hole. It's not going to block that hole. You can see right through it. Okay, now so we got to start cutting out the uh, inner frame. So basically machined a little pallet that's just going to chuck in the vise. And so we're going to use this to hold our uh, quarter inch aluminum. And um, you know, I'll arrange it to cut a few on here. But um, so basically I just, uh, this will be a whole sheet of quarter inch aluminum and then I'll screw it down and then profile all the pieces out. So I wrote a little program to drill and uh, spot the holes for the pallet. Just drilling them for a quarter twenty and then I'm going to tap them next. In order to tap them, I'm just using a spiral flute quarter twenty tap just chucked in the drill. Um, this usually works pretty good. I've, I've snapped a lot of smaller sizes off, but quarter twenty seems to work pretty good. Then I just uh, clamp my aluminum stock on and I use the first part of that last program just to spot the holes. That way I'll know they'll be perfectly aligned. And then once that finished, I just drill them through on the drill press. And here it is perfectly aligned and just um, snugged up with some uh, quarter 20 bolts and started cutting. So yeah, the first part of the operation is just spotting and drilling all the holes for the trigger and uh, you know, basically to hold all the pieces together. Then I'm using a quarter inch end mill from Lakeshore Carbide. This is one of those three flute uh, variable helix end mills. Things cut so smooth. I've almost, I think I've only gone through one of these and I've cut tons of stuff with it. Um, the first part here, just contouring out the trigger. Uh, this is the first time I'm using tabs too. Uh, you need tabs to kind of hold your pieces together so that they don't, um, they don't come loose when you're milling. Also, you can see how close it comes to the uh, clamping and pull, but um, clears it fine. I had to use uh, an 8 inch end mill to get some of the tighter radiuses. And then this is the final finishing pass. You can kind of see it lift up and uh, shorten up those tabs a little bit. So 
Then I'm just gonna pretty much unbolt it all and then knock out the um, pieces. They pop right out. Just kind of bend it. Gotta watch out, it's pretty sharp. And you can see how easily these tabs just break off. They're just a couple thousand thick. They just break right off and just uh, deburr them a little bit. And then here, just had to kind of clean up some of the corners that the uh, radius of the end mill couldn't quite reach. Just kind of did those by hand with the jog wheel. Then I just threaded all the holes by hand. All right, cool, so that's all the pieces. So basically we got our barrel tips, turned out pretty good. We got the little end knobs threaded for quarter 20, ready to go. Got our inner frames all cut with the trigger area threaded. Got all my torque stuff together, triggers. With the barrel with the, um, the end piece that's gonna anchor it onto the uh, body. So I laid out all the uh, thinner aluminum pieces uh, to be cut. And I'm probably gonna try getting these cut on a water jet to save some time, but if not, I'll end up cutting them the same exact way I just did the inner. Hey guys, thanks for watching part four. Uh, part five, we're gonna be uh, modeling and then uh, molding and casting the grips, as well as uh, hopefully we got our uh, water jet parts back. And if um, they work out, cool. If not, we'll be cutting them out the uh, same way as this. Uh, pretty exciting, should be able to start putting the whole thing together at that point. So uh, next video should be pretty exciting. Uh, so uh, see you next time. Find anything useful in these videos, uh, feel free to subscribe or share or uh, comment.